The Green Book Arabic, al 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 -Kitab al is a short book setting out the political philosophy of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. The book was first published in 1975. It was intended to be read for all people. It is said to have been inspired in part by the Little Red Book quotations from Chairman Mao. Both were widely distributed both inside and outside their country of origin, and written in a simple, understandable style with many memorable slogans. An English translation was issued by the Libyan People's Committee, and a bilingual English Arabic edition was issued in London by Martin, Brian, and O'Keefe in 1976. During the Libyan Civil War, copies of the book were burned by anti-Gaddafi demonstrators. Influence In Libya According to British author and former Greater London Council member George Tremlett, Libyan children spent two hours a week studying the book as part of their curriculum. Extracts were broadcast every day on television and radio. Its slogans were also found on billboards and painted on buildings in Libya. Topic. International By 1993 lectures and seminars on the Green Book had been held at universities and colleges in France, Eastern Europe, Colombia, and Venezuela. Topic. Contents The Green Book consists of three parts and has 110 pages. The Solution of the Problem of Democracy, the Authority of the People, published in late 1975. The Solution of the Economic Problem, Socialism, published in early 1977. The Social Basis of the Third International Theory, published in September 1981. Topic. Views The Green Book rejects both capitalism and communism, as well as representative democracy. Instead, it proposes a type of direct democracy overseen by the General People's Committee which allows direct political participation for all adult citizens. The book states that, "...freedom of expression is the natural right of every person, even if they choose to behave irrationally, to express his or her insanity." The Green Book states that freedom of speech is based upon public ownership of book publishers, newspapers, television, and radio stations, on the grounds that private ownership would be undemocratic. A paragraph in the book about abolishing money is similar to a paragraph in Frederick Engels' Principles of Communism. Gaddafi wrote, the final step is when the new socialist society reaches the stage where profit and money disappear. It is through transforming society into a fully productive society, and through reaching in production a level where the material needs of the members of society are satisfied. On that final stage, profit will automatically disappear and there will be no need for money. Topic. Summary The following table gives a chapter-by-chapter -chapter summary of the book. Topic. Reception 
George Tremlett has called the resulting media dull and lacking in a clash of ideas. Dartmouth College professor Dirk Van Duel describes the book as more a collection of aphorisms rather than a systematic argument. U.S. Ambassador David Mack called the book quite jumbled, with various ideas including a fair amount of xenophobia, wrapped up in strange mixture. Writing for the British Broadcasting Corporation, the journalist Martin Asser described the book as follows, the theory claims to solve the contradictions inherent in capitalism and communism. In fact, it is little more than a series of fatuous diatribes, and it is bitterly ironic that a text whose professed objective is to break the shackles has been used instead to subjugate an entire population. The book caused a scandal in 1987, when West German ice hockey club ECD Iserlohn, led by Heinz Weifenbach, signed a States dollars advertising deal for the book. <laughs> <laughs> 